Hello everybody, welcome to the Admiral Hotel here in Vancouver, Canada, BC. We're in one of the hottest nightclubs here in Vancouver and the reason being is because we have Gable Mark Hassel back here today and he's been doing some great promoting here and I'd like to introduce him to you and thank you so much for coming today. Well, thanks for being, taking the time. Yeah, thanks for interviewing me because it's nice to have a guy with so much pull talking to me. Well, <laughs> hey, there we go. Yeah, we made a good connection. Yeah, but, we uh, did. We met, uh, actually, uh, you live upstairs, right? Yeah, I live right upstairs. Yeah, so we met. You come down and check out the talent and stuff. Now, I've been booking uh, uh, this place for the last 18 months, with, uh, you know, after COVID, when talent started coming back live. And we have a successful seven night a week program going here. And I play, I'm a jazz guy, so I play Sundays in the afternoon, two to four, two to five, sorry. And we also have Saturday afternoon events and evening events all week long. So we're going good and strong, and we are probably the premier uh, uh, nightclub here in this whole area. So uh, we've, wow, been doing a pretty good yeah, we've been doing a pretty good job. Well, I, I, I gotta tell you, and you know, being from Vegas half my life, to come down and see this type of entertainment here, is, it reminds me of Vegas. I, I feel at home just because of, of all the type of entertainment you're able to bring here. And I don't know how you know so many people and I know you've traveled a lot, you've got a lot of awards, and you've been to Vegas, and you want to go back to Vegas. Just tell us a little bit about your background and what you want to do. Why do you, why do you want to go to Vegas? Well, I come from Denver, Colorado. I came here years ago and uh, with and started playing with an expat band called Powder Blues. Now, we never really broke into the States, although we tried. Uh, but we were really big in Canada. Uh, Multi-platinum albums, Learjets, tours in Europe, did every backwash and major city in Canada many times over. So I had a pretty good start in that. I got a Juno Award and, uh, and, and All-Star all -Star Band Awards and all kinds of stuff from my association with Powder Blues. Uh, wow. But that also oh. then I continued to, that sort of opened the field for me and I continued to grow my relationships with uh, musicians. and uh, All over the country? Yeah, all over the country. And, uh, you know, today I've got 18 albums of my own out, 11 Billboard hits, uh, three Jazz Week hits, uh, a whole other slew of awards, a Canadian uh, Smooth Jazz Award, Album of the Year, and Instrumentalist of the Year, and stuff. So my reputation is pretty good, so people trust me. I don't, only, don't owe anybody any money. Okay. I take care of paying them all, but I don't owe anybody any money. They don't have to wait for it. And so that keeps me friends with everybody. Well, that would, yeah. Because your reputation is something... It's uh, once you get a good reputation, you just don't want to be wrecked. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, here we are at the Admiral, and it's all uh, you know, it's all it's all gravy here right now. Well, well, I just got to say, I've never seen a, a promoter that could do what you've done to this club because I remember back in the day, I've been up here for just about seven years. It was nothing like this when you before you came. So you you you've definitely done it. You you got me to pay attention to you. We built a little bit of a relationship. And now we're talking about doing some gigs in Vegas. That's right. Well, Tell me what you've been in Vegas. Well, I, I have played there quite a bit. I've uh, uh, been uh, I've done concerts there with Jeff Lorber. I don't know if I don't know if the audience who's listening to this video know who Jeff Lorber is, but he's kind of the granddaddy of uh, uh, contemporary fusion, smooth jazz, whatever you want to call it. He's been around a long time, and Jeff and I've done three albums together. So we're pretty tight. Uh, we played at Alexis Park, uh, a couple other uh, venues there in Vegas, and I, I like playing down in Vegas. Oh, good. I'm not a gambler. I'm not a, the kind of guy who goes there to to do you know all that. Well, well there's so many I, things to do. I'm, yeah, Vegas, but I'm right? there to make music. And that's yeah, my and that's music. what you do. That's right? what I do, and I've been there a few times since uh, those events, uh, and want to get back again. So that's kind of the reason why we connected because yeah. I know you're a Vegas guy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, after I've been there half my life, and I've got a real strong connection with with quite a few people still to this day, and it's just kind of a match him, me meeting uh, Gabriel here, and having the opportunity to bring him to Vegas. And I got a partner down there that uh, boots on the ground there, Rich Michael, and between him and I, the people that we know and connections that we have, we're sure to bring Gabriel down to Vegas this year and have some fun. Gabriel, yeah, yeah, I'm I looking so. forward to it. And uh, you know, I'm dual, so I can travel either side of the border without, without uh, visas or anything, that's really good. And Vancouver's really close to Vegas when it comes to flights. Oh, and, and, and that's one of the reasons that I'm so interested in promoting you is because of the fact that you can go and play in the U.S. Now, if, you're, if we were talking about Boston, I'd be not so interested. It's just too much of a... Because I, I have a condo in, uh, in New Orleans. I used to play in New Orleans a lot. But man, the air travel, the airports and everything, to start off, it's a 10-hour flight. If you, oh. if there's no 
if there's yeah. no hitches, but it turns into a 15 hour flight just to get to the East Coast yeah, now. So, yeah. so I kind of, I, I don't well, do that much anymore. Vegas is the hot destination, the entertainment capital of the world. There's 40 million people coming there a year. I'm sure we can find something for you to do down there. Yeah, and I think with you running point, we're often, you know, yeah, often running forward to it. And Rich Michael will definitely be in there helping us out as well. Now I hear you. your friend Rich is from well, my, he's, almost he's my hometown. Well, he's neighbor. Yeah, you said he's from Lakeland. Yeah. I'm from Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Yeah, what do you think of that? How could that be, right? How could I possibly Small be neighbor world, here at Small Vancouver world. anyway? But, hey, thanks for taking the time, everybody. We're looking forward to seeing you down in Vegas. Take care.